Okay, but before we uh, jump into the Gaussian integers, we need to sort of jump back into the regular integers. Zero, one, two, three, four, etc. Yep. All right, so what are some things you know about the integers? Uh, well, they, there's also the negative integers. Okay, they, they can go, go both directions. They can go in both directions, and they can go negative. That's a very good thing to point out. Um, they're all, like, in the sequence, all the consecutive terms are distance one apart from each other. Oh, great. Uh, consecutive terms, uh, distance one apart each time. Yeah, that's good. Um, I guess that relates, you can, like, re represent them on a number line. Okay. So, if we're looking geometrically, we can put them on a number line, it's yep. a one-dimensional number line, all right. Um, and then you can, I guess you can do some operations with them. You can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Oh, very good. So we can do add, subtract, multiply, and divide. That's good. Um, yeah, so those are some things Okay. to say. Another important thing, um, and then there's lots of them, but another important thing is the um, primes. So what are what are primes? Um, they're numbers that can, they have no other prime factors except one in themselves. So they only factor like that. Okay, so primes, and what are some examples of primes? In the integers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. and then we can we keep going. Um, all right, so there's primes. And then there's um, another thing that's actually interesting and important, a uh, units. A unit is something that has a length of one. Yeah, so... So what are, what are the units in the integers? Um, well, I think I said before, all of the consecutive terms are one unit apart. Yeah, yeah, so a unit means that it is, it's sort of one, has a length of one. So what are the integers that have a length of one? Think of them as being one unit away from the origin. Um, one and negative one. That's right, one and minus one. And those, uh, sorry, I meant to write plus one and minus one. Plus one and minus one are the two units. And those have a, what's special about the number one? Uh, when it comes to it's the integers? Neither prime nor composite. All right, neither prime so nor composite. It's a special number. Right. Um, yeah. But also, when you multiply, it doesn't change the, the length of the number. You might flip it if you multiply by a unit, but it doesn't change the length. Yeah. Okay. So now let's talk about the same ideas with the Gaussian integers.